Hello everyone. Welcome to Classic Champion Thoroughbreds. This Saturday, the road to the 2025 Kentucky Derby starts at Churchill Downs, where a field of 12 two-year-old thoroughbreds will go to the starting gate in the 43rd running of the One Mile Iroquois Stakes. Trainer Brian Lynch's Owen Almighty, a bay colt by Spitestown of the Bayern Mare Tempers Rising, has been tabbed the 5-2 morning line favorite. Post time is 5.29 p.m. Eastern Time. My name is Calvin Carter, and I am the owner of Classic Champion Thoroughbreds, LLC, where I work as a bloodstock consultant. In addition to my bloodstock work, I also blog about the two- and three-year-olds on the Triple Crown Trail. Classic Champion Thoroughbreds is a unique company with over 144 yearlings profiled at auction that have won or placed in graded stakes and stakes races, both nationally and internationally. So if, you're, so if you are looking to buy yearlings at auction that can be competitive in stakes races, you can contact me through my website or message me on Twitter at Calvin L. Carter. Now let's take a look at the Iroquois stakes. Here you see the classic champion thoroughbred profile of the horses entered in the race. The top four in breeding are Firmus, Sandman, Magnitude, and Geocoso. Now these here are horses with the asterisks are starred by not this time. So he might potentially have a good uh, trail this year. Time will tell. We'll see what happens here. But shortly after we created this profile here, uh, we saw that some of these horses down here with the lower grades were stepping up and winning races on the trail. So we created this behavior index. And that allows us to move horses up or down in ranking. As, as you can see here, all the horses have been moved up. And over here, take a look at the prisoner's prime power. They have Owen Almighty, Politically Correct, Jonathan's Way, and Geo Coso. Now, after I created this profile index here and the behavior index, I come up with my final index over here. My final ranking is Firmus, Sandman, Magnitude, and Geo Coso. So I didn't really change anything. I kept Geo Coso here because you can see here the prisoner prime power has the in the top four and some of these others here i think could be false favorites uh, <clears throat> the firmest he's only ran one race but he's got the best breeding of all and he's fired two bullet workouts so i think he's going to really step up with another big race uh, magnitude uh he's one is uh broke his maiden last time out he's got two starts and uh, he's also fired some bullet workouts. I think he's going to step up and run another good race. And he has the breeding. So that's why I have these four here. And Sandman, he also has the best breeding. One of the best breeding. So time will tell. I mean, Owen Almighty and Political Correct and Jonathan's Way going a mile. They could easily win the race. But these horses here have the best breeding of all. And if they step up and improve, uh, I think they'll be there in the finish. So time will tell. We'll see what happens here. But anyway, this uh, kicks off the Derby Trail, and it should be a fun trail. Looking forward to the races that are coming up. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like more information about the success I've had picking yearlings at auction, you can message me on Twitter by Calvin L. Carter or contact me through my website. Again, thank you for watching the video.